Wink, we showed you this video inside of HQ Men's Haircuts in South Fort Myers. You see a man walk in, pick up a pool stick, then start to beat on a worker. That worker was able to fight back and get the man off him. The man in the video is now talking to Wink News exclusively about this violent attack. Lee County deputies say that man behind the attack is Duncan Gregerson. The worker seen fighting in the video is Salar Alam. And that is who Wink News reporter Annalise Rola spoke with today. So Annalise, how's he doing? Amanda, he bounced back after the assault and he returned to work today. Sal told me he trusts that God is with him and that's part of the reason why he was able to not only survive but also fight off his attacker. And he has an idea why this man decided to come after him and not someone else. If you didn't see the surveillance video, it's new to you. But to Salar Alam, it will forever be with him. And, um... That's why I realized that um, now is not the time to remain calm. This is the time to act. Salar is the man under attack at the barber shop where he works. As you're going to see, he fought back. After he hit me, I thought he would tell me to move to the side, but then when I heard you're dead, <laughs> that's when I realized the entire dynamics changed. Sal was done for the day at HQ Men's Haircuts when he suddenly came face to face with his masked attacker ends up grabbing it actually by the blade. Grab the blade with his bare hands and beats back the man who is twice his size. Why this man attacked Sal is still a mystery, but Sal thinks he knows. More so I was oriented towards it being a robbery, but then I realized, you know, with recent events, you know, this is, I see it as an act of hate. Salar is a proud Muslim American who hopes to someday talk with his attacker. The sheriff's office identifies him as Duncan Ray Gregerson. I'd like to have a conversation. I would like to see where he was at, what caused him to do this, and yeah, you know, hopefully get some form of closure. LCSO has not said whether it's investigating the attack as a hate crime, but the suspect remains behind bars today as well. Sal also said that the man tried to snap his neck before he ended up stabbing him in the neck. And he told me that doctors told him he is very lucky. Another inch and that knife would have hit an artery. Live in South Fort Myers on Alicia Raola, Wink News.